Armstrong and Aldrin try to master the lunar module, knowing that it can be only so realistic on Earth. They were pilots that were trained to fly in Earth's atmosphere. Those skills are completely useless at the moon because there's no atmosphere. They needed something called the Lunar Landing Training Vehicle, which was a special machine designed to replicate flying in the moon's one-sixth gravity, even though you were still on Earth. Astronauts call it the flying bedstead. In the center, a big jet engine that points straight down with a pilot's seat bolted on top. Each flight is a precarious venture. There was no safety net. If you tilted too far, you could just fall out of the sky. You really had to be on your toes. In 1968, Neil Armstrong prepares for his 21st flight in the Lunar Lander trainer. The first 20 went well. But this one suffers a rare malfunction. All of a sudden, it lurched, kind of tipped over on one side. With no time to spare, um, he was really close to um, uh, a fatal accident. Um, he was able to eject just in time. Neil Armstrong had a particularly cool head. He went back to his desk and finished out his work day because he didn't see any reason that having just narrowly escaped death, he would clock out and go home early. 